Alright okay, so first of all, I want to apologise to Steam for accusing them of uh, showing my life. They would never do that. Um, they're a platform that I trust um, and use frequently. Uh, play a lot of the game for them. And uh, now I've found the actual source of the malware, um, or at least I think I have. So uh, I'm thinking it's this file here. Hopefully you guys can, yeah, you can see my cursor. Cool. Um, I'll pull up the report on this and show you guys it. Uh, let me show you guys that. So if we look at this report here, right, we've got five detections, not that many. Um, LD player, if you guys don't know what that is, basically it's a mobile simulator, uh, emulator. Usually a good thing. Uh, I don't know where I downloaded it from. I mean, I should have downloaded it from the right site, but uh, yeah. Anyway, um, basically it's not from Steam, so uh, I was false in accusing Steam. Uh, the reason why I think it's this thing is because uh, none of this stuff actually makes any sense. But if you go over to the behavior here, uh, you can see that, yeah, the sc.exe, you know that thing that we, we saw in our uh, analysis yesterday, doing a lot at the same time there. So that's why I thought it might be Steam because uh, it just happened to coincide with when I downloaded a game from the Steam Fest thing yesterday. Yeah, here we go, files, system actions. Look, we've got chrome.exe, which, uh, AVG's browser is based off Chrome, so that could be that. Antivirus installer.exe, of course, that uh, Reason Labs is an antivirus, so AVG is also an antivirus, so that would make sense that that's doing that. Chrome.exe again for some reason, I don't know why it opens that so many times. Wait, I hope it's not. I might want to reset my passwords after this. Anyway, basically, it's not Steam, that's what I'm trying to get to here. And this is the actual malware. Um, yeah, just just to clarify things. So we're going to run this on this virtual box here. Just going to make sure that I uh, don't have any. That it doesn't have access to the host. Uh, I think it should be fine. I mean, I've already the host has already been infected by this anyway. So if it gets infected again, it's not much of a problem. We get yes here. Uh, we got. I didn't want to click mute now. Uh, so this is how it should look. Is this where I got the... That's where I got that from. Even though when I installed it for the first time, it didn't even show this. Which is weird. Or I just mindlessly accepted it. So you see, this is where you get the malware. You see, um, Steam has nothing to do with that. That's totally my bad. That was to totally my bad, my, my own thing, my own fault. Uh, I should probably actually disable the network, to be honest. I might want to actually do that real quick. Let's do that. Network. Can I disable it? There we go. Uh, got the network disabled just so that it doesn't spread. So even though I'm the only one on my network, like this machine's the only thing on my network and my main machine, of course, so it should be fine. Just in case I've disabled that, you know, just in case it tries to reach out and spread itself, which would not be great. Um, but yeah, if you guys have ever used LD Player, um, the actual thing is great software. Uh, this installer, however, is not. Don't know whether it was from the actual website or not, I can't remember. anymore um if it was from the actual website i should probably notify them that they've been hacked or there's like been a i guess it could have been a man, man in the middle oh defense security's already given up have we got uh have we got reason security yet have we got is that doing anything yet or have we just got a unresponsive security thing it's not like affecting my main system is it no, my main system's still alright. My main system's still fine. Uh, at least it looks like my main system's fine. I don't want to get my main system infected again, guys. That would not be ideal. Um, okay, so everything's all good according to Windows Security. Um, let's have a look at what what uh what virus and threat protection stuff have we got going on at the moment? Have we got any reason security stuff? Is that not 
a thing yet. It looks like it's not a thing yet. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, so wait, so it requires enabling something on your BIOS. That's one of the tricks it pulls to try and get you to give it. That's interesting. So this is a clean installation of Windows, guys. And we got what is this? Some Xuan that whatever that is. Um, so that's interesting. Let's have a look. LD player, it was there a moment ago. There we go. Let's uninstall that. Run the uninstall script. Oh, that's already a weird uninstall. Oh, they don't. They don't actually force you to say why you're uninstalling. So that's where I got it from. So that's why that wasn't doing anything when I tried to run it earlier. Install. We're going to hit accept to both of these because we want all the definitely legitimate stuff that comes with LD Player. You see, the thing is, if I were to run this when I was offline, my system would probably have been fine because, okay, I don't know what that application actually did, but I don't think it did much. I think it was probably fine. But this is definitely where I got it from. If not this, then like a later, like maybe it was delayed or something. I don't know. Something to do with this though, because this this is this is probably where I got it from. Because this this says that you install it, and whatever the other thing was, AVG. But did it say both? I think it said the browser and the thing, right? Which is where those will have appeared from. Well, the not so legitimate versions. Also, by the way, guys, do not try this, like, on your own systems. I have taken a decent bit of precautions, probably not enough. But, like, I basically kicked everyone off my network, except for my PC. And my phone's got the thingy disabled. Here we go. Here's the malicious Discord. Oh, oh, we got, we got all sorts of stuff doing stuff. Oh, we got, we got a fake. Oh, oh. Okay, it doesn't still doesn't like the OpenGL version or whatever. Have we got a uh, reason security yet, or is that not? Is that not done its thing yet? Is it where? Do you get that from Discord or something? Like how does? Uh, I'm. I'm wondering how this installs stuff. Right, set the thingies. Continue. This is not the actual. It's not the actual. Oh, 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 wait, that was that was something for a moment. I don't know what that was, but that was something for a moment. Uh. It looks. No. Does this actually do anything? Wait, are you human? Nah, I'm not human, mate. I'm I'm a just I'm just a virtual machine. Trying to run some malware here. Actually, I probably shouldn't connect, just because uh, that might infect the other people. So I'm gonna not do that. So it actually wants to spread itself, probably by like you know, because Discord's the place for gamers to chat. So it probably go it makes you join the LD player Discord, and then you're like, oh look, guys, I got this free software with it. You guys should download it. It's great. Oh, there we go. There's the there's the classical, <laughs> the the classical um, not so real, RAV, right? If we got that, that means we probably also have AVG browser, right? Or it's about to appear. So this is this is. Okay, it could be a real version, but what I find so dodgy about this is if it is like a real version, you can't remove it. And also, it has a load of stuff that makes it look like malware, which is not great as well. That's also not ideal. Um, but that's that's doing stuff. Uh, I don't think it can it can't get onto my main system, right? Yeah, no, it's my main system's fine. The file transfer is only one way, and network. Well, yeah, I I, I need to be a bit worried about network, but. Uh, 
Do we even need the fake AVG browser? Do we even want that? May as well wait for it. I mean, it's it's going to be the next thing that it installs, right? Which reminds me, actually, I still need to uninstall that on my main system. Like, I need to uninstall a load of other things and then reset my passwords. I'm going to do that sometime later today. Um, but this this is interesting that you get a fake antivirus with your um, LD player installation uh, these days. Again, as I said, I don't know where I got this from. I don't know whether I got it from the official site. It may have had a man in the middle. It may not be the right file hash. I wonder whether LD player's site says what the file hash is meant to be. Let's have a short look. Let's have a short look. LD player. I wonder whether it'll stop us from going there. Because it'll... Well, Softonic's not the right thing. But I, I, I know that already. So I wouldn't have got it from there got it from here which does look like the right website do they have a uh, hash thingy do they say what the hash so when you click download do they say what the hash for it should be I mean, they might not which would make sense okay wait so this is a totally different it's got a I, I wouldn't have clicked that. This has a to also that doesn't appear on mine because I have an ad blocker, so that's not what I got. So that's what you end up with. Oh, okay. Well, AVG's being fake. AVG's being advertised there, but that, I didn't have ads on the main system, so that's not where I got it from. This one looks kind of different. We can what we can do though is we can maybe open up Virus Total, check the uh, file hashes. See whether that. Oh, oh, we got a full screen ad. Um, I'm getting more vi viruses than I bargained for on here. Hold on, let's. Actually, I don't. I don't think I want to interact with that at all. Actually, let me close that. We got the two files. We don't need anything else. We just need virus total, and then we can scan both of these and have a look at. I wonder where it all. It does let us connect to it. That's surprising. It doesn't let. Us, it doesn't block us from accessing the. Oh, Reason Labs is there though. We've already got Reason Labs, so that's something. And I actually wanted to say, well, internet access like now. Let me do that. Yeah, network. It needs to go. Oh, we got we got AVG. We got AVG quotes AVG secure browser. So that's we got we got everything. Okay, so I don't need I don't need internet access anymore. Oh oh <laughs> oh! It incre it like this is so persistent, bro. This malware. It like takes over everything. Okay, but Steam, if if you're watching this, um, I I'm happy to tell you that it was not your platform where this came from. It was either from LD Player or it was uh, my bad, and I just downloaded it from some sketchy site. Which uh, we'll see whether that's the case because we'll upload we'll upload both of them. See we'll. How do we do this? I don't really want to re-enable the network. It doesn't have any network connection, so it can't do anything yet. Let's re-enable the network shortly, so that we can get a uh, the hash to be computed. Oh, it's oh, it may have already ruined the virtual machine. I did not think it did this much. On my main machine it didn't do that it didn't get this far. But then again this has Windows Defender rather than what my main machine had. So maybe it can get a bit further. Where's the oh what oh 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 we got we got some stuff appearing, all sorts of stuff. Stuff's back. Oh oh we've got oh okay, um that that, that massive news feed thing's loading that Microsoft decided should be a thing in Windows 10 for some reason. I hope this does actually, it might not have detected that I've uploaded it because it, let me drag and drop that actually, it'll probably be quicker. Can I, there we go. Okay, so wait, is that, that's the one that I downloaded, that's got malware as well. So it's LD player's website that's been attacked. Okay, so LD, right? You gotta listen to me guys. I'm gonna share this with you guys. You you should not be having malware on your website, guys. This is bad. Um wait, this no, this is the other one. Never mind. This is my bad, guys. Hold on, give me a second. I get the Well that is the one from downloads though. 
wait, it's literally the same. They're literally both the same file. Wait, so the one... So this is the same as the one on the desktop, except for... Even though they have different, like, file names, which is interesting. I wonder whether if we install Webroot, whether it will detect it and remove it. I feel like that was something fun to try before we get rid of stuff. This is interesting, so... I found out where everything's come from. Let me just disconnect the network. 